That's not good. This is Hurricane Douglas. And this little guy is a small storm, but can do some serious damage. And it looks like it's going to go right over, watch this, the top of North Shore. So we're here, right here. This is Oahu. We're right here up on this point, the northern point. This hurricane was supposed to hit Big Island and split apart after it hit Big Island, but now look at what it's doing. I'll show you. Moved away from Big Island, it's coming up, boom, right directly on North Shore. Right, look at that. Can I get any closer? The eye of the storm is on North Shore. My house is right here, right there. That's at 8 p.m. tonight. Okay, so this we're, this thing's gonna show up around 6:30. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> How? Ooh. That. Nice and sunny right now. Watch the hurricane not even hit us. <laughs> That's happened before. Everyone gets all freaked out about a hurricane and then it just completely misses us and it's just a beautiful day. But this one does look like it's gonna go right over us. Another thing is those little storms are so unpredictable that it still could move away from us. Because right now it's hit it, it's showing it's gonna hit us as bad as it can, but it, it still has time to move away. So that's a possibility. This could definitely be the last swell. What do you guys think? A little hurricane surf sesh? We're out to Rocky Point and some like 60 mile an hour winds. It'll be fun. I hope you guys like the videos. If you could subscribe to my channel, like this video, and check out the merch. We'll go surf this hurricane. <laughs> the hurricane is just about to hit, and the peak, I think the worst part of it is gonna be like the northeast side. So we're gonna go up a little bit towards Kahuku, and we're gonna go to this like beach break called Pounders and check it out. It's probably huge right now. It might be too big to even surf, but it's flat out here right now. We want to go find some waves and we're going to just go head first into the storm right now and check it out and bring you guys along. So I hope you like it. I'm trying to find a board I don't really care about because this wave that we're going to just will destroy surfboards if we surf. So. So we just drove down or drove over to the east side of Oahu, just past Kahuku, which is the most northern point, to a wave over here. And this is probably gonna be where the hurricane's gonna hit the hardest. So, also it's gonna be where it has the most swell. So we're here to check it. Might get in the water, might not get in the water because it feels windy and super stormy. And from what I can see, it's bombing right now. You'll see in a second. And this place is full of jellyfish, and it, it does get too big here, so if it's too big, we might not be able to surf. What's up? Right, man. You made Hurricane it. Douglas. Thank you so much. It means business, as Uncle Guy said. <laughs> Uncle Guy Huggy. It's not even raining. It's bombing. It's bombing. decided to go catch a couple waves before it gets too crazy and we should have brought foam boards but we only yeah. have our normal surfboards and I really don't want to use a leash we really should have brought 
like foam boards or boogie boards because if you lose your board, you go straight into that little cliff. And I have a leash, but I really don't want to use it because you don't want to be underwater with your board close to you in waves like this. So a little bit of a predicament here. Yeah. Don't want to use a leash, but this board's already super beat up, like the tail and stuff. See that? So maybe I'll just run it into the rocks. Red stick. I will be super excited about that. Session. Got pretty pounded at Pounders. Oh no! Oh, if it was a little smaller, we'd be able to catch that side wave off the rock, but whatever. Still a good time. I bet now Rocky Point and log cabins and stuff will have some waves, so we'll go there. Go just keep surfing this hurricane. I'm scared to surf out here is why. I just came in. I was out there for like an hour. There you go. That is the very front of the hurricane. Should be here in a couple hours. I think it might miss us just barely, but it's gonna be a lot of weather. We're back on North Shore after a little beach break oh, surf session. And we're looking at Rocky Point and it looks kind of fun, honestly. So we might head out, we might not. See what the condition's doing a little bit. Yeah, it just looks really ugly. Straight north winds, which is the, wor the worst winds we could have here. And stormy, it's about four o'clock. I honestly thought it was gonna be way worse than this by now, but we'll see around six o'clock. Should be right on top of us. So, just looked at Rockies. We're gonna go check log cabins right now. And for either of those spots, I'm going to use a different board than earlier. This is my new, nice, epoxy, light, ready-to-do-an-air surfboard. So we're going to check logs and make a decision from there of where we're going to surf because there's waves right now, something to do. Not just going to sit inside, be wait for the hurricane. So may as well take advantage of these little waves, middle of summertime, rare swells. We're on. Make the most of it. Or need a do good a, little wax. Little intro but right we decided yeah, log cabins. So the storm is progressively getting uglier and uglier, but it's like three to four feet right now, some little sections. So we'll go out, have some fun, come in and just see what happens with. Oh, God. The sun rock. See what happens with the storm. The rain. Uh, if, if it starts thunder and lightning, I'm not. I'm coming straight in. Can't do that. It's too scary. What happens if lightning hits the water while you're out there? I don't know. Do we die? If it hits close. For sure, huh? Yeah. Or we're wearing rubber. Hello darkness, my old friend. It's thunderstorming again. Like doomsday out here.
fun little storm session, I would say. The reason I came in was because when I was paddling, I almost paddled into a, a huge blue bottle, Portuguese man of war, whatever you guys want to call it. And I just figured it wasn't worth getting stung by one of those right now with these conditions and waves. So I decided to come in, call it a day for surfing, and hopefully we got some sick waves tomorrow and no jellyfish and we'll be right back out there. So I, I want to show you, I found some on the beach too, some little blue bottles. Let me show you, I take you. I show you nature. It's actually really warm. I was hot out there paddling in my wetsuit. Which is very hurricane weathery, so. Oh, here's a tiny one. There's a mini one. Ah! <laughs> when those things, what brings the blue bottles in, is these onshore winds like this. When they're coming straight this way, they come in, but usually our trade winds go this way. So they blow that way, and they blow them across at sea, or they get caught on the other side of the island. So North Shore is usually really safe until the wind clocks this way. And then when it clocks this way, they just fly in, tons of them. I mean, there are worse jellyfish, but they hurt. They're not fun to deal with, so. I think we'll call it a day and go shower. More nature tomorrow with Koa. This is a hurricane. This is a surfboard. Nature. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh yeah. Okay. There's the front. It's coming in right now. See how it's all, it's all some heavy rain coming in. We're down here reporting live. We can barely stay on the ground. It's so gnarly. Everyone's gonna die. Telephone poles are going flying. But this hurricane's name's Douglas. He wants to go. Oh, it's, this is it. Here comes those 100 mile an hour winds they were talking about. Don't feel 100 mile an hour to me but I could be wrong. I should probably get home and close my window. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sick. Hurricane reporting with Koa Rothman, nature. Perfect.